That was a hawk. We're gonna fly a Skyhawk. <laughs> yeah, th that's all, folks. Alright, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Mike Stewie's pre flight on 670 Mike Alpha, the wonderful Skyhawk. Wonderful using that loosely. Today's flying adventure takes Mike, not me, solo from here in Orlando over to uh, an airport called Leesburg. You've seen me go to Leesburg with a few students on the channel before. Mike's gonna do that solo for the first time. First time away from home. Exciting day, seems ready, seems confident. What we're gonna do, because obviously the instructor doesn't get to go with the student, completely helpless, can't affect anything and doesn't see what's going on. But modern technology with GoPros means that I can send my GoPros with him as kind of my eyes in the sky. After the flight's finished and I get home, I'm gonna record reaction to what Mike did on this uh, particular solo but first things first i need to go up with mike and make sure he's okay make sure he's confident make sure he's proficient welcome to the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already again if you enjoy the video leave it a like with that being said let's roll was there mike alpha base your discretion on my two five clear land turning base on my two five clear land six seven zero mike alpha How do you feel? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I feel good as well. I feel very good. Like if you, I don't know if you realise, but I've just been sat back chilling. <laughs> Which is what you want to see, man. You remain clear of the Bravo, no issue whatsoever. You're doing your checklists. So gotta make sure to lean the mixture once you're at cruise. Obviously for takeoff and landing it can be full. Uh, but just do just use checklists. If something doesn't feel right on the landing, what are you gonna do? Go around. Yeah. And if like you go over to Leesburg and Leesburg doesn't look good, just swing it around and come straight back, no issue. Uh, like like we said, they're probably using runway 2-1. Okay. Uh, so expect like a left downwind for 2-1 uh, probably over there. Got any questions, any concerns? Uh, it's, it's like I'm flying with a pilot. You know, it's just like... Oh, I appreciate that. Man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Breeze the land, it did perfect everything else. Now, what I will say is I'm going to leave my headset, my GoPros, uh, and my, my flight back in here. That's precious cargo. All right. I'll take care of it. Your mission <laughs> is to get it from Lees to Leesburg and back safely. Oh, all right. I don't know. Pick up the cocaine and then I'll be waiting <laughs> for you, all right? <laughs> all right, man. Good luck. All right. Have fun. Thanks. Alpha runway 25 Alpha 2 taxi via Bravo Alpha. Alright, I'm home. I've loaded the footage onto the computer. I've not checked the footage, we're going to do that together. We're going to review it together. I promise you that. Okay, and I keep my promises most of the time. What I've noticed. <laughs> Executive tower winds 230 at 5, right turn northwest bound approved, runway 25 at Alpha 2, clear for takeoff. Runway 25 Alpha 2, clear for takeoff, 670 mic off. Solid radio call to start off with. What I look for when I'm reviewing footage and kind of doing solo videos and stuff is, ah, uh, first of all, are you flying safely, doing what, doing what you're supposed to be doing, following the rules, blah, blah, blah. But are you following checklists? Are you maintaining altitudes? Are you maintaining airspeed? Stuff like that. So that's all stuff that I'm going to be looking for. While Mike is going here, first thing I'm looking at, is he on the center line? Yes, he is. Let's go full power, let's roll. to the sky, brother. Oh no, watch out for that pole bang. That's pretty cool. Mike is uh, notorious for being very quiet when he flies <laughs> on his own. 
like he's, he's a quiet character he keeps himself to himself not that doesn't mean to say that he doesn't you know do the stuff he's supposed to be doing like right now he's making a, a turn out towards the northwest he's keeping it away from downtown Orlando his thought process there is obviously he doesn't want to fly low over buildings which I completely agree with making it look easy and thank you Mike for moving the air vent because that was uh, that's blowing off the microphone. That's about all the sound we're going to get from <laughs> He's still fighting it. <laughs> Leaning the mixture. Good. Since I had the issues in uh, the Cherokee, don't know if you saw that video, I'll link it. Uh, in the corner for you to go and watch. Uh, I've I've really put a heavy emphasis on leaning the mixture because I, I, you know, we've all been guilty of it. We we all get a little bit too comfortable with that red knob. Uh, <laughs> so I've started to drill into people that you know, you don't be scared of that 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 red lever. Kind of bring it back. So it looks like he's just outside the Delta airspace, which means he's outside from underneath a bra uh, the 1600 foot Bravo Purple layer, Hotel which is good. And it's simple. It's straight. Look at him. He's in cruise. He's just cruising along, easy. Just, uh, zero Mike Alpha. There's traffic at your one o'clock and about four miles uh, southeast bound 1100 Cessna. Uh, look for the traffic. Six zero Mike Alpha. At Tower 582, we have your traffic in sight, no factor. Tower 582, roger. So, Mike Alpha, previously called traffic has you in sight. Uh, they're just about to pass about a half mile off your right side. I have a lot but that's good, 6 0 Mike Alpha. Sir Mike Alpha, frequency change approved. Change approved, 6 0 Mike Alpha, thank you. Alright, looks like he's just passing another Bravo shelf. Which is now he's passing from a 2,000 foot shelf to underneath a 4,000 foot shelf. So he's starting his climb exactly as he should be doing. Look, like, I'm trying to look uh, for anything that stands out as glaringly obvious that's kind of obviously unsafe and I'm not seeing it so far, which is fantastic. He's using everything at his disposal. I know he's got his GPS set up. I know he's got his four flights set up. But you can see him popping his checklist out there. Michael! Just listening to the the live ATC thing. He sounds so good on the radio, and it's true, man. He sounds like he knows what he's doing, and he does. So he's got a left base for runway two one. I, we did kind of brief that together. So I actually told him he's probably going to enter on a left downwind, but obviously he's doing a left base, so he's got to adjust because that's not an, a standard entry, right? You usually enter on a forty five for a, a downwind. Let's see how he deals with it. It's not much of a change, but still, you know, if, if you're not ahead of things and you don't kind of open that mindset to you know something different happening you know it's uh, it can be a little bit confusing so it looks like he's descending down uh, nice and slow he's through 1700 feet at the moment descending in i can see the lakes the ahead of him which is a, one of the indicators that you're getting close to leesburg You're following the uh, bio wing that's off your left front turning base. Uh, look through the traffic, uh, 670 Mike Alpha. Nice, there was a, a flight that me and Mike did where, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, he got a little bit nervous entering the traffic pattern where there was a bit of traffic uh, just ahead of us, probably about a mile away from us, and he got really nervous. Um, 670 Mike Alpha, you had the uh, bio wing turning final. I've got the traffic, 670 Mike Alpha. Mike Alpha, runway 21, clear for touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway 21, 670 Mike Alpha. 
Nice, perfect, man. Again, you just see he's exuding confidence here. It's great to see. But yeah, he he, he was a little while ago. He got nervous at a bit of traffic because uh, he was fairly close to a bit of traffic and kind of tunnel visioned on it and wasn't doing anything to kind of slow down or affect the change and, and stuff like that. So he got uh, a little bit nervous. So we kind of worked through that and, you know, kind of told him, hey, listen, you're in control of this thing. Like the only thing that's going to change something is you. So you can slow down, you can do some S turns to give yourself some space. But now we've kind of slapped that out of him, that, that nervousness away. And, you know, in that situation, like you're getting told while you're on a base coming in close to the airport, hey, if you're looking for other traffic, like there's no nerves, it's just slow, okay. slow down, take a deep breath widen up that, that, that picture, take a look for the traffic, got it in sight, continue as normal. It's good to see. He's on final, let's see, let's have a look at his airspeed here. His airspeed is looking, looking beautiful. He's got a good height, 65 knots. This uh, runway has a little displaced threshold because there's that road just ahead of it right there. So it, it can be a little bit tricky, but he's keeping it high over that road, which is the safe thing to do. Now he's starting to drop it. His airspeed's perfect. Let's see where the landing is. Mike just took himself from Orlando to Leesburg. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So uh, if there's one bit of analysis from that is a little bit left of center line. All that would have taken would be uh, a little bit of a wing dip to the right side and uh, a little bit of left rudder just to keep that nose on the center to fight that wind from pushing uh, in the flare. A lot of people forget, especially early on, low amount of hours uh, as a student pilot and even as a private pilot, uh, you, you forget those crosswind controls in that flare you get so focused on that touchdown that you, you kind of lose focus on the wind pushing you respect uh, he's plugging into the GPS direct to Orlando he's climbing through 1100 feet it's a successful entry into Leesburg it's a successful exit he's been given the frequency change now he's on his way back home unbelievably cool So I've just kind of skimmed through as he's coming back towards Orlando. Looks like he's at uh, 1,500 feet at the moment. It seems one thing as he's, as he's picking up the weather. I think he did it as a flow uh, because I saw him leaning the mixture once he got to cruise, but I didn't see him go back and check through the uh, climb and cruise checklist. That's something, that's an important thing, right? I'm all for doing checklists as flows. No issue whatsoever doing it, but you've always got to back it up with something. Uh, back it up with that checklist just to make sure you've not missed something because your flow you might miss something on that flow you know you never know traffic 11 o'clock low one mile he's got a traffic alert both on four flight and on the gps he's taking a look you know what it's, it might sound so simple but he's definitely checking out to see where that traffic is and he's giving it a good look. That's great. So I sent him a message uh, last night and I said, listen, you're going to go solo. It's all about maintaining, you know, flying the plane well, but also maintaining vigilance, checking out for traffic and doing stuff like that. And he's implemented that perfectly. So 670 Mike Alpha, landing Executive attack. 670 Mike Alpha, student solo, 10 miles northwest, full stop with Lima. 670 Mike Alpha, and a right down on runway 25. Right down, wind one way, two five six comes to my golf. Traffic going to be following just about off the departure on runway two five for the right close timing. I look at the traffic, uh, zero my golf. All right, I've got to pause it right there and just tell you this. This 
scenario right here with towers saying that there's a guy just off the departure end and that's the traffic to follow this is the exact situation that me and him were in where he got nervous this is literally it so let's see how he deals with this he's already saying he's going to look for the traffic this is interesting this is really interesting this is the exact scenario just, uh, for Kilo, when able to start your right cross this is Mike Alpha, that traffic's one o'clock headed to 12 o'clock now in just a little over a mile uh, negative traffic, zero Mike Alpha. Perfect. He doesn't have the traffic in sight. But he's not panicking. He said negative traffic. That's, that's what he I should do. Now, zero Mike Alpha. Zero Mike Alpha, follow that traffic. Follow the traffic, zero Mike Alpha. He's got the traffic in sight. Good man. Good man. No panic. No panic, no nerves. This is why you have to let yourself fail and you have to let yourself you know whatever you're going to feel if you're going to feel nervous feel it get through it with an instructor because then in the moments when you're solo and the exact same thing happens you're equipped with the tools to deal with it he's been told to extend his downwind he's behind another traffic who's extending their downwind and he's already slowing it down he's backing off the power that's f brilliant for me to see one thing i'm seeing is keeping it a little bit high He's about 100 feet above traffic pattern altitude. So zero Mike Alpha, number two following that Cessna, wind 2607, runway 25, clear to land. Number two following the Cessna, clear to land, runway 25, zero Mike Alpha. Now he's at traffic pattern altitude. I, I would ideally, ideally like to see that a little bit earlier. This is the 3811 Sierra Land Executive Tower, Southwest departure is approved. Wind is 2607, runway 25 at altitude, clear for takeoff. And so it's for Quebec Alpha, extend down on a car base. Number two, three, four, Quebec Alpha, extend my down when you call my name. On this landing, as he got back and parked up the plane, he told me about this landing. You saw that balloon on landing? Uh, no. My, yeah, really, that was one of the biggest balloons Really? Ever. Yeah, yeah. No, really? I guess you'll see it in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll review it after. So let's see if he's going to go and party with this balloon. <laughs> see how bad it is. He's at a decent speed, 65, he's fine on speed. He's around 60 now, which is fine. A little bit of shakiness, the... There's the balloon. Spectacular touchdown. <laughs> if a little bit left to center line again. We're gonna have to knock that out of him a little bit. Sure, Mike Alpha, right, turn Alpha 5, no delay, exiting ground point for off and off five over rounds, I call. Good job, brother. Good job. Took himself from Orlando to Leesburg, back to Orlando, solo, dealt with a balloon. No, no, he's Bravo Romeo, Romeo, taxi, Alpha 4 to No, he's Bravo Romeo, you can't stop on the runway. Get off the runway. Taxi to the ramp via Alpha Bravo. And via Alpha Bravo, he's Bravo Romeo. You caused the go around, oh. and then we have someone that's on the runway as well. My friend! Good job, man. Thanks. Man. How was it? It was really good. Yeah? That was one of the biggest balloons. Really? Ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess I'll see it in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll review it after. Yeah. It was a. Oh, so you, but you, you obviously you didn't go around, so you. you no, 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 yeah, I just, just gave it a little bit of power. Nice. Settle it down and kind of. Nice. You've got two options. You can either go around or you can save it. He decided to save it. So the save it, like we, we've worked on saving it before because it happens all the time when, you, when you're learning to land it. The, the way that I taught him to save it was to add a little bit of power, push the nose down, kind of re-stabilize and then pull the power off and then go back for the transition and flare again. And he did exactly the right thing with a little bit of balloon because at one point he was going to a party. He was filled with helium, but he saved it. And the confidence of this whole thing has been great. Takeaways from this flight are checklists. So always back up what you do with a checklist. That's first of all. Uh, over in Leesburg, uh, the landing was left to center line. Back in Orlando, the landing was a little bit left to center line because the focus, uh, we, we all do it, the focus goes on to getting a nice smooth touchdown and not so much on directional control and keeping the, the aircraft on the center of the runway. That's what you should be aiming for. So what you've got to do, instead of over-focusing and getting that tunnel vision on that uh, transition and that flare, you've kind of got to open it up a little bit.
little bit and be dynamic with your with your feet as well as your hands it could also come down to instead of looking directly ahead in front of you on the runway kind of open up that view and kind of look a bit further down the runway and that's also going to give you a good view of where you are in relation to that center line the last thing that i would say is uh, just slightly high in the traffic pattern in orlando other than that what a success calm and collected nature of that flight was was so good to see that fills me with confidence for the next time that i send him solo as well so that's the end of the video appreciate you watching it thanks for making it this far congratulations to mike if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like first of all let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it uh, and please subscribe subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos hit the notification bell as well i'm gonna go watch the rest of euro 2020 for the day and then get ready for england's battle tomorrow with croatia who knocked us out the world cup <laughs> the boys. All right, have a good one. See ya.